Cold and flu season is here, but do not fear, my friends. In this video, I will share with you tips on how to stay healthy or what to do if you do wind up getting sick. Hey everyone, this is Stephanie from Fast Track to Health Wellness Center. Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, please consider subscribing so that I can keep you up to date on the latest in natural health, wellness, and weight loss. So here we go, another season, cold and flu time. A lot of people wind up getting sick. So what are some things that you can do, first of all, to prevent getting sick or what to do when you do get sick? So first and foremost is rest. So if you do start to feel run down and you feel that something might be happening, now is a good time to take a day off, maybe take two days off. A lot of us wind up trying to just push through it and just keep going to work. All that does is actually pro prolong you the period that you're gonna feel sick. So normally our bodies have the capacity to take care of whatever infections come our way, but it usually takes time. It takes about seven to 10 days, sometimes even two weeks if we don't do anything about it. But a lot of times people will just push through it and will not do the things they should be doing and that will prolong any illness that happens. So take some time to rest, get some extra sleep. Your body will thank you dearly. Next thing is hydration. Make sure you're getting enough water in general, but you wanna drink even more water when you're not feeling well, but make sure you're getting some electrolytes in your water. If you're already drinking mineral water, great, but if you're not and there's no minerals in your water, you might wanna consider adding some electrolytes uh, like sea salt or something like that to your water. That will help keep you balanced and keep your hydration levels better. Okay, so next is avoiding the bad stuff. So sugar, sugar being the main thing, that really suppresses your immune system. So I know around the holidays it's really hard to avoid sugar, but sugar is one of the main things that is going to suppress your immune system, make you more prone to getting sick. And if you are already sick, you definitely want to avoid sugar like the plague in addition to things like alcohol. Alcohol is also gonna suppress your immune system and keep your sickness going longer. Okay, so next, if possible, you wanna to try to sweat it out. So if you're already feeling bad, make sure you keep a lot of layers of clothes on, keep your body very, very warm so it can sweat out some of the toxins. Um, if you have access to an infrared sauna or steam room or even just a hot bath, that will make you sweat as well. That's a really great way to sweat out some toxins. Okay, so another thing you wanna consider is most of these types of infections that you're gonna get, most of them, not all of them, most of them are viral, okay? The common cold, flu, and things like that are viral. So you don't wanna take antibiotics during this time because antibiotics are for bacteria. So unless you have a confirmed bacteria, which I still don't recommend antibiotics for, um, you want to not you want to avoid the antibiotics for viruses okay because they're only going to make things worse in the long run they're going to really hurt your good bacteria in your gut um, and then that's just going to make your immune system weaker overall if you do wind up taking them for whatever reason you do want to make sure that you're following that up with a really good probiotic for at least three to four weeks if not longer to reestablish some good bacteria back into your gut that the antibiotics sort of got rid of Okay, so lastly, whole foods in general, especially whole food supplements are really, really excellent at helping your body deal with uh, infections and boosting your immune system. So in our clinic, we have two protocols that we use for these types of, of, of illnesses. So if someone has an acute infection and they just got sick, we recommend that they take a standard process product called Congaplex. They're gonna take two every two hours until, they're, until everything is gone. And then they're also gonna take Mediherbs product called Andrographis Complex, which is an herbal formula uh, that's also great for acute immune infections. Now for prevention, we recommend other products, standard process product called Immuplex, and then the Mediherb product called Echinacea Premium. That's the only one I happen to have here at my, at my house. I don't know if you can see this or not. But anyway, Echinacea Premium is one of the best echinaceas out there on the market. It's very great at prevention and overall immune function. So I'll write um, in the comments below more specifics on what I just recommended. So I'm curious, what do you guys do when you get sick, have a cold, or, or just to prevent them? Uh, do you take things? Do you do any types of self-care? I wanna know, give me your thoughts in the comments below. So anyway, uh, if you haven't already subscribed, please click the subscribe button and I will keep you updated on the latest in natural health. 
Thank you so much for listening, and I hope you really stay well this season. If you need us, our help, we're here. We do offer one-on-one -on -one consultations. Get in touch with us. The first consult is free, 15 minutes. Let us know, and I will see you in the next video. Ciao for now, guys. Bye.